Hey everyone, my name is Sinead. If you clicked on this video, I'm hoping it's because you already know what Active Recall is, meaning that you've already watched Ali Abdal's video on Active Recall where he talks about how Active Recall is scientifically the most efficient study technique for students. But if you haven't watched the video, I'm gonna link it in the description. You should watch that before you watch this video. But to briefly explain what Active Recall is, it is essentially classified as the most effective studying technique that you can use to get your brain to understand and memorize stuff that you may need for an exam or dare I say real life at a faster, more efficient rate. But I think a lot of kids often get confused about like how they can actually tactically apply Active Recall into their studies. And so in this video, I'm going to be giving examples from my own observations and experience for what active recall is and what active recall isn't. Now, I'm not saying that the things that aren't active recall are bad, they have their purposes, but it just means that they aren't active recall. Active recall is essentially what the name describes. It is the pulling of information from your brain. It is the act of testing yourself on material as opposed to passively reading it and absorbing information. And studies have shown, if you've seen Ali Abdal's video, that the act of trying to test yourself on things, the act of trying to actually pull information from your brain is a lot better at helping you remember that thing than it is to just like try and put that information back into your brain through like rereading or something. So let's get into the video. So this video is gonna be broken up into three parts. First, some general tips, then language-based subjects, and then science-based subjects. So firstly, active recall is writing down questions for yourself after you finish going through material and then testing yourself on them later. Okay, first question, what is the powerhouse of the cell? Hmm, I think it's the mitochondria. Active recall isn't. Writing then questions to yourself and then just reading the answer without trying to pull that answer from your brain first. Okay, well first question, what is the powerhouse of the cell? Let me just take a quick peek. The mitochondria. Ah, the mitochondria. Yeah, I knew that. Totally knew that. Totally knew that. Active recall is you trying to explain a concept to someone through speaking about it out loud without your notes. Okay guys, so the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell for the following reasons. Active recall isn't listening to someone else explain a concept for you and just expecting that concept to magically sneak into your brain. Call on knowledge, seep into my neurological pathways. Okay, so that's it just for some general examples. Active recall is simply just testing yourself on material, asking yourself questions and trying to pull information from your brain. Okay, now we're gonna move on to examples from maths and science. Okay, so number one, active recall is doing loads and loads of past papers and checking the answers later to see what you got wrong. Okay, so I just finished the first paper from 1996. That means there's 24 years of past papers left to go. Active recall isn't just reading through all of the mark scheme answers without actually having a go at the question first. 1C, 2A, 3D. Active recall is when you got something wrong, you try and figure out where you went wrong, and then you try and redo the whole question again before you look at the work solution. If it is like a knowledge remembery type question, you make a flashcard of it so you can save it for later and test yourself on it later. Active Regal isn't immediately going to the work solution and just reading through the work solution and just assuming that, yeah, okay, now you'll be able to do it next time on the test. Okay, what's the answer? What's the answer? Now I'm going to talk about some examples for when you go through videos of math and science to try and learn the content. Active Regal is pausing the video to try and answer the practice questions before the person actually describes the answer. So try the question, come back to the answer. So the correct answer here is going to be A, there's five protons and six neutrons. Active recall isn't when watching an educational video and they just come to the question part, you just listen for the answer. Okay, pause the video, try the question, come back to the answer. Eh. First thing we know, number of protons. Active recall is pausing the video after a diagram has been drawn and then attempting to redraw out that diagram for yourself. Okay, so this is a diagram of an atom this guy just drew. I'm going to pause the video, close it, and try and redraw it out myself. Active recall in action. Active recall isn't watching a diagram being drawn and just aimlessly copying out exactly what the video says as the video person is like drawing it. Active recall is, after watching a video, you write down everything that you can remember. Okay, so I think this video is about placentas, the human brain, and why you need to use protection. What do you think? Oh, I don't think that's what the video was about. Yeah, I don't think I was paying attention that much. I'm gonna rewatch the video. Active recall isn't just watching a video and then just doing nothing afterwards. <laughs> And finally, active recall is quickly skimming a derivation and then attempting to do it yourself. And after we plug in the variables and take the derivatives and integrals, I found that f is equal to mv squared over r, which means I just reinvented centripetal motion with my own head. 
active recall isn't. Again, copying down the steps, step by step, as you watch the video as someone explains it without actually thinking about like what's happening yourself. Okay, yeah, well obviously you take out the x squared and divide it by three, like I knew that. Those are my best examples for science-based subjects. As you can probably tell, active recall is really all about trying to engage your brain with the material, not just passively absorbing the information. Okay, now we're gonna move on to language-based subjects. And I'm putting these all in one video because I know you IB kids, all of you have to do both science and language, so here you go. Okay, for language essay-based writing subjects, the wordy subjects as my physics teacher likes to call them. Active recall is, right? Writing out an essay or just an essay plan from scratch without looking at any notes. Okay, so in response to question four, this is my essay plan for why bacteria make better friends than people. Active recall isn't. You're just passively reading through past essays that you wrote. Come on essay, seep into my subconscious. Active recall is you trying to analyze a poem initially all by yourself just by reading through the poem and thinking about it. So having read this poem, I hypothesize that the motif of the big blue ocean is symbolic of the tears that will pour out of my eyes once I'm done reading this poem. Active Regal isn't. You just looking up the analysis on Schmoop or litcharts.com rather than actually trying to come up with your own ideas for analysis. Schmoop says that the red apple is a symbol of sun and freedom. I mean, I don't know what that means, but I'm definitely gonna put that in my essay because it just sounds smart. Active Regal is you trying to translate a sentence from one language to another without using Google Translate. Translate, yo hablo espanol. Hmm. I speak Spanish. Answer, yes. Correct. Active recall isn't you just translating one word for another in Google Translate. Translate yo hablo espanol. Well, uh, let me just try one word. Yo, I, okay. Uh, let me just try one more word. Hablo. Okay, hablo means speak. I speak Spanish. I knew it, I knew it. Active recall is making flashcards for any key words, key terms, or bits of information that you need to know. Hitler's birthday. April 24th, got it. Active Recall isn't you just rereading material over and over again and highlighting it all. Okay, so I have this document and I'm just gonna highlight all the key things I need to know. Okay, I think there's a problem. Active Recall is going through, let's say a history textbook or economics textbook and writing down questions for yourself later to test yourself on the knowledge and your understanding of the knowledge. Active Recall isn't writing out direct notes that are essentially a direct copy of the textbook material. And yeah, that brings us to the end of this video. I hope this video helped any of you who are confused about what Active Recall is. And again, if you haven't watched it, watch Ali Abdel's video about Active Recall. I'll link it in the description. Essentially, what I hope you've learned from this video is that if you want to increase your efficiency while studying. It is a lot better for your brain to actually be able to like pull out information and actually like engage with information in your head whilst you're going through material and after you've already studied material rather than you just trying to put the information back in your head. And also a quick note, I don't want you to feel discouraged if whilst you're doing active recall, it feels hard. The harder it is to recall a fact and the harder you are actually working your brain, the stronger that memory is going to become. So yeah, learning isn't supposed to be easy. And yeah, all in all, I hope you guys learned something from this video. You can DM me on Instagram. I respond to every single comment. And so yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. Thanks for watching. Bye.